I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and in this video tutorial I'm going to be moving quite fast using the LSP Fur Babies Actions for Photoshop. If you'd like a slower, more in-depth tutorial, please visit the website and the video tutorial library and you can watch video number one for installation guides and video number two um, where I really go through in depth um, exactly what you do with these actions and how to use them. So for this one, this is a studio image shot by Amanda Voller. And the first thing I'm going to do, I've just played the setup layer for the select and fix. Normally I'd recommend using this with patch tool, but you can use it with any selection tool. I'm just going to select this area of the background here and play select and fix it. And that will just fix that background up nicely there. Next up, I'm going to play, I'm going to come up here to the magic image balance section and I'm going to play the save lost blacks just for this area here. I'm going to switch to a black brush and just paint that off here. So I'm just evening up this background a little bit more. Let's work on this face a little bit more before anything else. Let's brush it a little bit smaller. So let's play Bright Eyes. And I'm just going to use this opposite the catch light just to enhance these eyes a little bit more just as you would with um, other, other subjects, you know, human, humans in the studio there. So I'm going to play Bright Eyes again, just to really enhance these eyes here. Up the opacity. And just get that painted on there. Because the brush setting is 100% opacity but low flow, um, this allows you to just kind of hold down and paint over until you're happy with the effect. How about one more just for luck? Fur babies are not heavy handed, so the point is you can build these up until you are happy. Now we've really popped the eyes out there. I'm also going to play fur details as well, because we really want to bring out those details in this fur and the subject. So I'm just going to paint that over there. And that will give a lovely, sharp, detailed finish to the fur. And again, you play with the opacity, I'm just going to take it down a touch. I'm going to play Rover Red Rinse uh, just to get rid of some of the reds from this chair. This kind of thing is, of course, personal preference, um, but I feel the, the reds kind of detract from the colour of the dog, and that's really where you want your eyes to be drawn. So I'm just taking some of those reds away. And again, play with the opacity to suit. to click on bright eyes again. Any actions you play that you don't need, you can just drag them down to the trash there. Let's work on this background a little more. I'm going to play the ultra dark black magic. I selected a black brush for me so I can just come ahead and paint this away from anywhere I don't really want it to show. Just lightly there. So you see we've just added some darkness in taking it away from the peach. I'm also going to play Black Area to Rescue, I think, um, just to kind of bring these shadows up here a little. So we've got that attention coming in on the dog there. So now let's work on the overall finish of the image here. I'm into the Diffuse Finishes section. Actually, 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 I'm going to play Painterly Silk Fur. The great thing about these is you can do exactly what I'm doing. You can just hop around um, they are in editing order, but it doesn't mean you can't just hop around and play them as you like, when you like, in whatever order you prefer. So I'm just using the painterly silk fur then, just to give him that extra lovely finish. Okay, so now down to the diffuse finishes. Like quite a dramatic um, finish to this image, so I'm going to go for the drama mix here. Let's try Club. I think that looks really quite nice. How about um, Alloy in the Cool Mix now? Let's cool the image down a little bit more. Yeah, that looks really nice. Um, so I'm going to grab the black brush that's been selected and I'm just going to slightly remove this um, Alloy from the dog and the chair here. Make sure I'm painting it back in on the background there so there's no discrepancy between the background colours. How about Winter Coat just for a final cooling finish? And again, I'm just painting 
getting this off our subject here. What I may do is actually play uh, Yappy Yellow's Gone, just to take some of this yellow tone out of the background here. So I'm just rubbing that over, just to give it that real kind of portrait feel. And over onto the chair too. Switch into a black brush, you can hit X on your keyboard to switch between um, white and black brush here. White means show and black means hide. So let's see before and after, I'm just going to take a snapshot here. So before and after, and that's a fine art edit using Fur Babies. Um, I think I'm going to add one of the LSP textures in too, they're obviously not included with this set but you can get those at the LSP Actions website. Um, www.lsp-actions.com. I'm going to add a Camden texture in now just to kind of um, to add over this background. It's great if you've got a seamless background with any banding or uh, rumples or anything like that in. So I'm just going to go ahead super quickly and drag a Camden texture in, but these are not included. As I said, you can get these on the website. Here we have the Camden textures. Uh, which one shall we use? Painter Desat, I think. So just drag that over the top. These um, textures actually do come with an applicator action you can use, but I'm just quickly going to drag it in. Set the blend mode to overlay, add a layer mask, and um, paint this away from our subject here, so it's just affecting that background there. And that's a really nice way to finish up for a fine art um, studio image. So just to recap what we've done there. Here's the original, fixed up top using select and fix, save the backs, bright eyes, really brightening those little eyes up, fur details brush, removing the reds from the chair using the Rover Red Riddance, ultra dark paint, um, or ultra dark layer with um, painted offset areas, black fur rescue just to bring the shadows up in this area, painterly silky fur brush, that's just absolutely lovely before and after there with that finish that it gives you for the painterly silky fur. So smooth and soft, but sharp at the same time. And then we use the Club uh, Diffuse Finisher, Alloy, Winter Coat, Yellow's Gone, just to take some of that yellow toning out of there. I'm just going to use that a little bit more. Actually, I've seen I didn't do this bit here. Be very careful not to paint this onto our dog. And then I added a texture from the LSP Camden Texture Collection that's not included in Fur Babies, but really nice addition to your studio images there. So that's the Fur Babies Photoshop Action Suite. The image is by Amanda Hoyer. I'm Lauren Bennett, and these are available at www.lsp-actions.com.